Hello, hello. Hey, sweet, sweet listeners. I hope that my sweet voice is pleasant in your earbuds this morning, afternoon, night. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's so horrible. I was trying to say, Oi, pessoal, bom dia, boa tarde, boa noite. <laughs> you can't. It Only comes I out can. really, really strange when I say it in English. <laughs> Anyway, hey guys, welcome to the show. Welcome to English no Kurohaju. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome. So today on the show, actually this week on the show, we have been talking about untranslatable words. We are taking a journey around the world to understand the world more deeply, understand cultures and people more profoundly through the vehicle of language. Yes. Yeah. Good comment, Alexia. Thank you for your input. So today on the show, Alexia, what country are we traveling to? Finland. To talk about? Sisu. <laughs> Okie dokie. <laughs> Alexia. We are talking about Sisu. S-I-S-U. It's a Finnish word and it's the Finnish art of inner strength. Strength. T-H at the end there. I I did it. I promise I did it. Strength. Yeah, I listened and saw you. And <laughs> a very strange thing that many of our students do, not our students, never mind, not our students. Our students are the best. <laughs> But in my experience, for more than a decade of teaching languages, a lot of people say, no, that's what I said. <laughs> so, okay, yeah, you're paying me, so... Whatever you want to believe. I'm not paying you, so. Okay, so continue <laughs> pronouncing the TH incorrectly. Go strength, for it. Strength. Strength. Yes. Today we are talking about the Finnish art of inner strength. In Finnish, this is Sisu. And I have to admit, Alexia, I love this one so, so much. Yeah? Why? Number one, I'm obsessed with Finland. I think the Finns are just... It's so fascinating. It's such like another world. Number one, very similar to Norway in the fact that Finland is way the hell up north, <laughs> almost like in Russia. It's crazy. I know a girl who just moved there, a Brazilian girl, with her husband, who is Finnish. And she always share like some stories or things. She always like, shares? Yeah, on Instagram. And there was a day that it was like beautiful sunny day and she was like the first of the year and then the other day was already snowing and it was horrible and she was like back to normal <laughs> yeah i think that's one of the things that i'm so interested about finland is i have never in my life met a finnish person i did i you did have? when i went to england there was one there <laughs> there is one finn in england yeah i mean most countries It's like, hey, yeah, I met a Danish person. He was nice. But Finnish? No, never. Fascinating. Yeah. Maybe they stay more at that part of the world. Um. Yeah, it's a long way away. I don't know. But they have not crossed my life. And I would love Yet. to meet some of you. So another reason I love Finland, just really quick. The Finnish educational system is ballin. Is what? Ballin. 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 Shot callin. That means it's awesome. Okay. Yeah, the Finns are the smartest people in the world by most indications. Anyway, we are talking about Sisu, which really is referring to a perseverance and inner strength that is so, so deep. It is very difficult to translate. And it's really talking about finding this strength within yourself that almost you did not know that you had. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. Yes, been there, done that. Yeah, so everything that I have read about Sisu is, it's really like reserved. It's not like a daily, like, hey, we're finished, we're strong. They probably that have that too. But this is like when times are tough, when shit hits the fan, the Finns are ready. They can find this inner strength that is their Sisu, that is their superpower. Yeah, I don't know. You keep telling me that I am this kind of person that I know how to deal with crises and very hard moments and I know how to deal with this kind of things. 
but I never got ready for that, you know? And you were telling me that Finnish people, they do get ready for that. They prepare. Yeah, I do think they prepare. So recently I was reading a book about Finland because I love Finland <laughs> and I want to move we there. Know that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, Too you cold. don't want to move there. But Finland's already very, very cold most of the time, apparently. And Finnish people, from what I read, this is totally just me talking, but they are obsessed with like cold therapy. Like they believe that the body should be exposed to extreme cold temperatures. Many times on their lunch breaks, they just jump in cold lakes and then go back to work. And another example from this girl that I know that it's there, she was pregnant and she was taking like a, a, a pregnancy course. I don't know how to deliver a baby and things like that. Yeah, okay? like a preparation pregnancy. I, yeah. I don't know. And <laughs> then one day she was at a cafe or restaurant, I don't know, and she posted a picture of like two babies inside of the baby carts. The strollers? Yes, strollers. The baby carts <laughs> in the grocery store. <laughs> inside of, they were laying down in the stroller, normal, like with their clothes and a blanket. And they were outside the restaurant in cold weather because in cold, cold weather. weather. Because Finnish people, they believe that, that that's the best way of babies to get used to the cold weather. Mm -hmm. And to create, like... Thick skin. Yeah. Yeah. And that was crazy. <laughs> yeah, but I think there is a lot of truth to this. Like, I have read recently about a lot of, like, ultra-endurance athletes and professional athletes, even, like, basketball players, are using cold therapy as one of their number one strength training exercises. Just exposing your body to extreme cold makes you a lot stronger the only time that i seen that that i saw that it was during a true crime show <laughs> alexia could essentially say that phrase for in response to pretty much anything okay oh, i saw that so, in a true crime show one time can i <laughs> can i read a description of sisu por favor okay so Respondents rarely mention Sisu in relation to small daily nuisances. <laughs> nuisances. Nuisances. What's nuisances? A nuisance is just like a something that's slightly annoying, like eh, something that bothers you is annoying, just an annoying thing. Okay. Rather, it seemed to be reserved for major disruptions. And the most commonly used words refer to significant, significant hardships or and stress. Okay, good job. Reading. Do you want me to read just to clarify a couple of things? Uh huh. Okay, when people are talking about sisu, it's almost never in relation to small daily nuisances. Rather, it seems to be reserved for major disruptions and most commonly used referred to significant hardships or stress. So when we are talking about Sisu, that is when things get real. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like to take action during a crisis. Yeah, it could be. But it's also the idea of the inner strength. Like, I think it's fascinating because it's almost like you really don't know who you are until things get really bad, and that's when you really see people's true personalities, their true character, their true strength, and Finnish people seem to be all about that. That's interesting. You only know a person when you see her inner strength. Yeah, it's easy to be a good, nice person when things are good, right? It's a lot more difficult to be decent and generous and kind when situations really tough. Yeah. Yeah. So as we are using these untranslatable words to kind of open the doors to new countries and cultures, do you have any revelations, thoughts, opinions about how Sisu 
what it teaches you about Finland, Finnish culture? Does it make you interested about learning more? Let's try not to offend <laughs> anyone this time. I wasn't. I didn't offend anyone. Stop saying that. Can I, I give Japan. you? <laughs> Alexia and English Nukru as a company, we love Japan. Just to make that very, very clear. <laughs> For me, I think this is the art of Sizu, the Finnish art of inner strength. It's just so fascinating because I really think I lack that. I'm constantly thinking, oh God, if another bad thing happens in my life, I'm going to break down. And I just have this image of Finnish people saying like, no, Foster, you are strong. Give your inner Sizu. You know what? what <laughs> I, I think I just offended a lot of Finnish people with that <laughs> accent. What I really think about it is that, yeah, bad things will happen. Of course it will. That's life. Bad things will continue happening. But did you break because of that? No, you didn't. Not yet. Uh, stop it. Uh, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> so, Alexia, on, on this week on the show, we have talked about Denmark, Japan, Brazil, Portugal, the Portuguese-speaking world, and Finland, and one more place, Norway. If you could choose one of those countries to visit, which one would it be? Without thinking about the words? Yeah. Norway, Japan. I would be in between Norway and Denmark. I thought you would say Denmark because you are King Chinya. <laughs> What about you? That's super tough because <laughs> we strategically chose these words like five countries that I really, really want to visit. You chose these words. <laughs> I was trying to say we, but yeah, I chose these words because I'm obsessed with all these countries. I've been obsessed with Finland forever. Norway, so beautiful. Japan. Ugh, yeah, I can't choose. No, you had to choose one. It's not that it's you're not going to visit the others, but the first one. Really want to go to Norway. Okay, so we have a winner. Don't, no, nah, it's not a winner. You made me choose. Winner, winner, chicken. <laughs> winner, winner, chicken dinner. Yeah. <laughs> okay, guys, that is a very strange way to end this week of untranslatable words with the phrase winner, winner, chicken dinner. <laughs> Any last words, Alexia, or do you want to end with that? I'm fine. Okay. We will talk to you guys next week. Until then, winner, winner, chicken dinner. Hige fritzen Hige, hige. Get your inner sizu. Your wabi sabi. Saudade. Saudades de vocês. <laughs> Até já já. Bye. Tchau, tchau.